So I need two volunteers. Who do I have? Let me see. Who hasn't done anything this morning yet? You guys. Okay. How about you? Do you want to? Do you want to be a volunteer? Okay. And how about you? Two girls. Come here. All right. Now I have two. Th I have two things in my hands. So I'm going to let you pick first. You're going to pick this one? Okay. And you're going to pick this one? Okay, so this is what I have in my hands. I have money. Now, so what is that one? <clears throat> what, why don't you unfold this and, and that and tell us what that is? So how much is that? It's a $10 bill. So what's it worth? $10. Okay. Can you see what this is? This is kind of hard, isn't it? So you know what? Let's read down here. It says one dollar. So what? What do you? Th what's this? It's a one dollar coin, right? Okay. So, who thinks that December has the has the the most valuable piece of money? Because it says ten dollars. Now this one says one dollar on it. So you think she's got the more valuable one? Okay. All right. What, what's your reasoning? You don't know? Because this definitely says, let's look at it again. Lila. Yep, definitely says $1 right there. $1. Okay, so you want to vote again? Did you change your minds? Nope. nope. Okay, all right. I get to keep these. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you for your help. So, okay, so here's the thing. You guys who voted that this one is more valuable are correct. And here's why. On the back, it says $1. On the front, it says $18.90. So that makes this, it's just, a, it's a, it's, it is an American dollar, but that makes this a Morgan silver dollar. And it's not made in 1890. And if you look real close, you can see that it was minted in San Francisco in 1890. And um, it's not, look, it's kind of dirty. It doesn't even look as nice as this does. It's kind of dirty and it's been used over and over again and it's kind of old. And yet the value of this is between $22 and $25 just because it's old and dirty. Imagine that. So sometimes, and, and, so, and so really, what is the point of, of this, right? Why, why is Miss Donna just here talking about money and what does this have to do with Christmas, right? Well, here's what it has to do is because sometimes we forget that Jesus, who came in an old and dirty stable, he came as a baby, he didn't seem like much compared to the kings that were around him. And even today, he doesn't seem like much. Maybe, you know, you're thinking about, oh, the new Nintendo Switch that maybe you're gonna get for Christmas, or maybe a new bike, or a PlayStation, or all the things that can make us think that that is more important and that is more valuable than an old story in a, in a book, right? But the reality is for those, for those who know, for those who understand, they understand which is more valuable. And that's, and that's Jesus Christ. Jesus is, as we just watched that video, Jesus is the most precious gift that we get. Even though we, you know, you might be uh, distracted by the flash and all the fun and everything of Christmas, do not ever forget that the most important and the most valuable part of Christmas is Jesus, that's right, who came in a dirty stable that didn't look like much. He didn't look like much, but he was worth everything. He's worth everything to you and I because he came to make a way for us to have a relationship with God forever. That is an eternal gift. Your Switch Nintendo is not going to be worth a whole lot in five years. But Jesus Christ 
is going to take you all the way through this life. And when we draw our last breath and step over to the threshold, you're going to find that he's still just as real in heaven. So that's what I want to make sure that you guys do not get distracted by the flash.